I would like to confirm that we are confident that we have now spoken to the immediate family uh, of all those that sadly died in Monday's attack and that they are being supported by specially trained family liaison officers. I'm also aware of speculation on social media and the wider media around the occupation of one of the victims. Very sadly, I can confirm that one of the victims is a serving police officer, but in respecting their family's wishes, I will make no further comment at this stage. Due to the number of victims, the Home Office post-mortems are likely to take four to five days. After this, we will be in a position to formally name the victims in line with guidance from the coroner. I would also like to confirm that we have spoken to all of the families of those that lay injured in our hospitals and of course we are doing all we can to support all of them too. You will be aware that the level of activity in this investigation is intense and is continuing at a fast pace. We have made three further arrests in connection with attacks overnight and this afternoon we entered an address in Manchester city centre using a controlled explosion. Officers are currently at the scene searching that uh, address but in order to execute that entry uh, we did have to close a mainline railway line uh, for a short period but this now has reopened as we continue those searches. So that brings uh, the total number of people in custody currently to four. People across Greater Manchester will have seen a significant increase in the number of armed officers uh, on mobile patrol and at static points across the city. We have been supported by forces from across the northwest and beyond, uh, and this forms part of our well, well tried and tested plans for any major terrorist attack. Obviously with the announcement from the Prime Minister last night of the increase in the threat level to critical, you will be aware that the military are supporting policing across the country uh, under the codename Operation Tempera. This is about the military being used to guard uh, iconic sites and other sites uh, outside of London and across uh, parts of the north. This frees up armed police officers to then give the police service capacity to deploy them to places like Manchester as part of our plans uh, for keeping the country safe. What I would confirm is that there are no military personnel patrolling the streets of Greater Manchester, nor are there any plans for that to happen at this time. The armed police that is now available throughout the rest of the country is being used to supplement uh, my armed officers here in Manchester and in particular is enabling us to work uh, to make sure that the planned Manchester Games and the 10k run uh, go ahead uh, this weekend. We obviously had significant plans in place with event organisers and Manchester City Council around those uh, annual events. We are now obviously reviewing those plans with organisers and with the City Council uh, in light of this week's attack to make sure uh, that we can uh, allow them to go ahead in as safe an environment as possible. So I am happy to take a couple of questions at this point. Mr Hopkins, have you found the bomb factory? Uh, as I've said, we are carrying out extensive searches uh, of premises across Manchester, but it would be ill-advised of me to comment on the investigation to that detail. Do you that somebody detail. else put that bomb together, and are you searching for that person? Is this a search now for a bomb maker? I think it's very clear that this is uh, a network that we are investigating, and as I've said, it continues at a pace. Uh, there's extensive investigations going on uh, and activity taking place across Greater Manchester as we speak. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Thank you.